Okay, I think we've got another FSR-related question here, Tim. Do you think the lack of FSR in titles that also have DLSS has more to do with AMD avoiding the comparison or NVIDIA nudging the developers to avoid or delay the implementation, or is it just coincidence? Hmm. So, <laughs> um, I think it's maybe a combination of things and maybe stuff that's not mentioned here as well. So, okay. first of all, there is one game that AMD listed in their slide that is coming soon that will have both DLSS and FSR. That's Necromunda Hired Gun. That was, uh, uh, whether or not it actually gets FSR, who knows, mm -hmm. but it was in their slide. Mm -hmm. So from that perspective, you know, there's nothing stopping developers from putting both in their games. Obviously it's possible. And we're seeing that in one game that said that they will do it. Speaking to AMD as well about this, I asked them this, basically this exact question specifically. Okay. I'm like, you know, do you think we'll see FSR in games with DLSS support? And they suggested that yes, okay. we will, and that you know there's no technical reason why they can't. And what they're hearing from, you know, they obviously can't mention specific studios or games, and they didn't do that. But you know, they were saying that we will see games that have both. So okay. that's to start. However, whether or not we see FSR in major NVIDIA-sponsored titles, so think things like Cyberpunk or Watch Dogs Legion is another question because Necromunda is more of a sort of an, an indie or smaller studio title, and I think those studios may be more willing to you know implement both, experiment with technologies, get that, you know, oh, I want to try it FSR, so I'll try out some of those games, something like Godfall, right? But again, it, when developers work very closely with NVIDIA on these things, it's unlikely that competing technology comes into their games. But then again, it depends. Watch Dog, I mean, not Watch Dogs, Cyberpunk does have Fidelity FX CAS uh -huh. in it. So maybe there's a chance there. And I think... I um, think there would be because... Death Stranding does as well, has both. Thinking of an earlier question, it creates this very awkward situation, I'd imagine, for NVIDIA, where they have like an, a, a future Cyberpunk type title that's very demanding that runs quite poorly on even mid-range previous generation hardware and they offer DLSS for, well, you know, RTX series cards, but then if you have like a, a Pascal GTX 1080 or 1080 Ti or whatever and the game is not that playable or not to the degree that you'd like and an FSR giving you that 30-40% more performance would get it there, it puts them in a weird situation where like why not have that included in the game as well and like will you get a lot of other NVIDIA users pushing back saying you know we want this included in this game alongside dlss so we can benefit from it yeah and i think they're going to as well run into the issue of it being at least at this point known that fsr is fairly easy to implement mm -hmm. i think in one of linus's videos again i didn't have a chance to speak to many developers about it but linus did and i think he said in one of one person he spoke to took like two hours to implement fsr into their game so if it's taking not that much time to implement then, you know, the excuse of, you know, we can't do FSR and DLSS, you mm -hmm. know, we can only do DLSS, FSR is too complex, that doesn't fly because it, it, that's not true. It's yeah. it, it would be easy to implement. So I think they, developers may run into that issue as a, as a sort of primary limiting factor because people are going to see through that. It's sort of, well, that's not a real, like you're not giving a real reason to that's why you're it puts, it in. It puts NVIDIA in an awkward position yeah. where it makes them look bad because it's like, yeah, okay, look, DLSS at the moment, it certainly does appear to be the superior technology depending on the settings by a fine margin, but it is superior. So you want to give people who have bought expensive Ampere GPUs the yeah. most superior yeah, you want, you want both. experience yeah. they can have, but you also want to look after your, your other customers. They're as equally loyal. They just either haven't been able to buy a new GPU or they haven't saved up enough money or they're maybe they're waiting for the next generation. But... Yeah, I don't think it's it's uh, it puts them in an awkward position. So we'll see how that plays out. Yeah, I think you know part of this question says, "Are Nvidia? You know, do you think Nvidia will nudge developers to avoid or, or delay the implementation?" Again, I don't think they've done that to this point. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't think they're sitting there saying, "You know, oh these you know these games cannot include this feature." But what happens from now? Now that the technology yeah, is out and available is going to be interesting. And one thing that I want to stress this: I don't expect many existing games to get updated necessarily. Mm -hmm. So what we have, you know, there's games out there today that have DLSS 1.0 and never got 2.0. Mm -hmm. So if though if developers can't even, you know, upgrade from the crappy version of DLSS to the good version, mm -hmm. then I think it's unlikely that 
you know, we'll see a lot of DLSS titles, you know, implement FSR. Sure. But it, it's more about the the future games. You know, what's the what's the next big NVIDIA sponsored title? Is that going to get DLSS and FSR? We'll just have to wait and see.